Welcome back to the Secret Drinks Club Bar. Today we are making a vodka martini. We are, however, making a sweet vodka martini. I am more than happy to admit that I am on the edge of the martini club. Like, they are pretty challenging for me to drink. But a sweet one, like we're gonna do today, this I am golden on. I absolutely love. So what we are gonna do and what we are gonna need is some lovely vodka. Get yourself plenty of nice ice. We're gonna need some sweet vermouth. A little bit of citrus peel. So no, not the lemon, but the peel. And we are working in a mixing glass. So you're gonna need, of course, a nice martini glass. Okay, so here we go. The, um, the sweet vodka martini. Um, so like a, a little twist up um, on what we've done before. Um, so we're gonna start and we're gonna put everything in here, then we're gonna stir. And there's gonna be quite a lot of stirring in this just because we're gonna need a good amount of dilution. So this time round, what I'm gonna go for is, I'm gonna start with 75 ml of vodka. So we're gonna go quite high on the vodka, but just remember, Though we're not getting anything else in here per se, we are going to dilute it quite heavily, okay, with water by stirring. So that's 50, and there's 75, okay? So that's our vodka portion done. After that then, I'm going to go with about 20 ml of sweet vermouth. Remember, everything, the, the main rule of sweetness is making sure you can add more, you can't take it away, right? So I'm gonna go with 20. I mean, this is a delicious smelling sweetness, so that's really great. So that is my ingredients there, so that's everything that I would put in. Now the key bit is the stir, so we're gonna dilute this. So remember, whilst I've only got vodka and sweet vermouth in here, what I am actually doing is adding water by diluting and stirring. So we do want to have quite a lot of nice ice into our mixer. You don't obviously have to have a snazzy mixing glass like this. You can do it in a Boston tin. You could do it in your glass. I mean, lots of Negronis and stuff like that can just be made in the glass that you're going to drink it in. Um, but we are going to fine strain this into a, uh, a coupe. So really, you want another vessel to stir. So. Put the, the, the spoon down the edge of the glass and then just find a motion for yourself. I mean, bartenders are dead good at this and I am not good at this at all. But just find a motion that's gonna get you moving the liquid around really comfortably. So what I'm not trying to do is, because uh, uh, what I'm not trying to do is break down the ice. What I'm trying to do is get some nice dilution from the ice and from the, from the water that we get into the drink, okay? So, we're just gonna keep that stir going. And you'll notice as you stir, from start to about now anyway, it, the, the ice is moving a lot easier with me as it's starting to dilute, which is lovely. You wanna keep this moving maybe for about a minute. And another thing to really do with this is to taste it, to try it. So just a little bit on the on your spoon, pop it onto your hand. See that? Oh wow, that's already very delicious. So this, so about 20 mil, what we've done here, is gonna make you a drier sweet martini. If you then wanted it to be a sweeter sweet martini, take it up a little bit, okay? Take it up to like 25 mil. So again, to your taste, however you wanna do it. But this, this vodka with this sweet vermouth makes this really lovely kind of like whiskey tinge color. It's just a delightful thing to look at. So I'm quite happy with that now and I'm going to, I'm going to strain it out. Now I'm going to fine strain it out um, again. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to have a little mix up here. I've got my lovely glass here. Now you just need to make sure that with your mixing glass that you've chosen, uh, or thing that you've chosen, you can squeeze a hawthorn into it. So that's why I tend to say, if you're not gonna use like a, a mixing glass, use like a Boston tin. So the tin bit of a cocktail sh shaker or even the glass bit of a co cocktail shaker is absolutely fine. But this now you can see it's got like a lovely like tinge of that sweet vermouth to it. And then if we just nicely strain out into our glass, you can be so James Bond while we're drinking this. I mean, what was he? 
vodka martini shaken, not stirred. I assume it was dry. Might have been sweet. James Bond might have been a sweet martini guy. Who knew? Okay, there we go. So you've got that delightful, like almost Prosecco golden colour to it. The only thing I'm going to do, and like I said with our lime, or lemon, sorry, we're just going to put a little oil over the top of it. Now, I'm not actually going to pop this in. Sometimes you garnish that. Um, but what I'm going to do is you grab, like, cut yourself a little piece of the lemon and then make sure you're trying to get as little white pith on the back of the lemon as, uh, of it as possible. Then from there, we're just going to, holding kind of two fingers on and then two fingers in the back, then just squeeze together and push over. And that gives you a lovely express of the oils in the skin. You can smell it. You can smell it on the drink, it's delightful. So you could either drop that in or you can leave it. I'm gonna leave it. And that right there is a sweet vodka martini.